All right, kindergartners, our math objective for today is that students will be able to write addition number sentences. So today we are going to write addition number sentences. I'm going to show you first how to, how to solve one problem, then we'll do two together, and then I'm going to give you two to do by yourself at your house. So I'm going to get started with this one because I'm going to remember that I need to write an addition number sentence. So I'm going to read the word problem, I'm going to look at the pictures, and I'm going to write an addition number sentence. Let's read this one. It says, Aaliyah has some dolls and Deidre has some dolls. They have seven dolls all together write an addition sentence that matches. So I'm going to, need, going to need to fill in the blanks to show how many dolls does Aaliyah have plus how many dolls does Deidre has equals how many dolls all together. So right here I will write, I will count how many dolls Aaliyah has and I will write it. Then plus I will count how many dolls Deidre has and I will write it. And then I will figure out what does that equal? How many are there all together? And I will write that number at the end. Watch me how I do this. So first I'm going to count the dolls that Aaliyah has, and then I'll write the number. So Aaliyah has one, two, three dolls. So I will write a three because I see that Aaliyah has three dolls. I wrote a three. Now I'm adding the number of dolls that Deidre has because I see that there are seven all together. So I'm gonna count how many dolls Deidre has. I'll cross them off as I count. One, two, three, four. So Deidre has four dolls, so I will write a four. Four. So I wrote a three because Aaliyah has three dolls, and then I wrote a four because Deidre has four dolls. How many do they have all together? I remember from the word problem that they have seven, but I'm going to count just to double check. I'll point and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven dolls, so I'll write a seven. So I wrote a number sentence that matches the picture. Three dolls plus four dolls equals seven dolls all together. All right, now we're going to write an addition number sentence together. All right, here's a new word problem. It's about apples. This says, Itzel has some apples and Layla has some apples. They have five apples all together write an addition sentence that matches. So what do we need to do first? Well, yeah, we'll have to count how many apples Itzel has. And then what is that symbol? What's that called? Yeah, plus we'll have to figure out how many apples does Layla have that we're adding. So we're going to add the green apples, the ones that Layla has. And then we'll figure out what that, yeah, equals, equals. What does it equal? How many are there? All together. And then we'll write that number. So let's get started. So first we're going to count the apples that Itzel has. Those are the red ones. Count with me. One. Itzel only has one apple. So what number will we write? Yeah, we'll write a one. There it is one apple for itself. So that means that the other apples are Layla's. Let's count how many apples Layla has and write the number. One, two, three, four. So Layla has four apples. So we'll write the four. Okay, so read that with me. One plus four equals, equals what? Yeah, we have to count how many there are all together. 
Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five. So what number do we write? Yeah, write a five. There it is. Okay, so it says one plus four equals five. We wrote an addition number sentence that matches the picture. Let's do one more together. Ooh, it's about cookies. All right, listen. Ashley has some cookies and Alex has some cookies. They have eight cookies all together. Write an addition sentence that matches. So first we'll need to count the cookies that Ashley has because we know that she has some cookies. And then plus, right, the number of cookies that who has? Yeah, the cookies that Alex has. And then we need to figure out what that equals. And what will it equal? It will equal eight, but we'll also count to double check. All right, let's get started. All right, count those cookies that Ashley has. Are hers the chocolate chip or the M&M? Yeah, they're the chocolate chip. Let's count Ashley's chocolate chip cookies. One, two, three. So what number do we write on that first line? Yes, we write a three for Ashley's three cookies. Phew, glad we didn't keep counting because those M&M ones are Alex's. Three cookies that are Ashley's. Now we need to count Alex's cookies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So Alex had how many M&M cookies? Yeah, five. So we'll write the five. All right, so let's read what we have so far. Three plus five equals, equals, what do we need to count now? Yeah, we need to count how many there are all together. How many cookies are there all together? I'll point and you can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equals eight all together. So we'll write the number eight. Remember, to make an eight, you do an S diagonal. S diagonal. It's going to be your turn now to solve some all by yourself. So I'm going to put the problem up on the screen. I'll read it to you. And then I want you to try to solve it by yourself. And then I'm going to give you a second problem to solve by yourself. And then I will show you the two answers to those two problems. All right, are you ready? Get your brain ready to think. Okay, this one you're doing by yourself. I'll read it to you. Aaron has some cars and Isabella has some cars. They have six cars all together. Write an addition sentence that matches. So you're going to need to count how many cars Aaron has. Aaron has those blue cars and write it where I'm pointing. And then plus, how many cars does Isabella have? Those pink cars, count how many pink cars, write the number, and then what does it equal? Count how many there are all together. Okay, you solve that word problem right now. So don't forget, you're counting how many cars does Aaron have, the blue cars, writing it right there, and then you're adding the pink cars that Isabella has, and then equals, you're gonna count how many there are all together. Okay, I'm gonna give you your second problem to solve now. All right, here's the second one. This says, Nellie has some Legos and Kelson has some Legos. They have nine Legos all together. Write an addition sentence that matches. Okay, so you're going to count by yourself those red Legos that Nellie has and write the number where I'm pointing. And then plus, 
plus the blue Legos that Kelson has and write the number. So you're going to count those blue Legos that Kelson has, write the number. And then what does it equal? How many are there all together? You're going to count all of the Legos and write the number there. All right, go get started. So don't forget, you're counting those red Legos, writing them right there. Plus, counting the blue Legos, writing them right there. How many does it equal? Write how many there are all together. Did you get it? Okay, here are our answers to our you do problems. Okay, so for the cars, you should have had two plus four equals six because there were two blue cars that Aaron had and four pink cars that Isabella had equals six cars all together. Did you get that? Hooray for you if you did. Awesome. Two plus four equals six. And then for the other one, Nellie had six Legos and Kelson had three Legos and that equaled nine Legos all together. So you should have had six plus three equals nine. Did you get that one? Silent cheer for you if you did. All right, great job, kindergartners. 